Ultrasonic scaler is an instrument vibrating in the ultrasonic range which is coming to the two water and 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 the two water instrument the instrument vibrates the human CVT device instrument vibrates in the ultrasonic range which is accompanied by stream of water that means it doesn't because uh, as an ultrasonic vibrates, it will be produced. So the water acts as a cooler and it will flush us away the particularly the moving. The moving consists of an electric generator, which is an interchange of tip. It has a motor of an electronic electric generator, the handbeat, which is used for doing the scaling, and interchange of tips, the tips of different sizes and shapes for a scaling the different areas and it mainly works by converting electrical current into mechanical energy in the form of high frequency vibrations and instrumental so lcd generated electrical current into mechanical energy from high frequency vibration mainly at the instrumental and use water cooled instruments and the vibration approximately 20,000 electrical fractions per second there are two types of scales which are available in the market. One was magnetic circuit, which is not used now, was used earlier. And the other one is the feature record, which is used now. <laughs> you can find the difference. So it consists of nickel ion or ferrite insert between the handbills. And then the insert handbills, electromagnetic fields are created leading to expansion and contraction of inserts, and expansion and contractions are carried to the scale to test vibration. It is inserted into the cavity and it has to be packing in the common electromagnetic fields. Nickel iron or ferrite is situated in the head piece. The common electromagnetic fields are the expansion and contraction of the insert to the energy at the tip. These are the which is used now, consists of quartz crystal in the head piece. And it is alternately can pass through the quartz crystals. The dimension of the crystal changes because of the alternating current. These crystals in the quartz crystals vibrate, the you know, alternating current and vibrate at the scale of it. The frequency is approximately same for both 30,000 and 40,000 volts. The amplitude is for wide range for magnetic circuit that is 30 to 72 and it's only 72. And the motion is elliptical. Piece electric it is in the linear mode. And there is a hammering of scraping action of the magnet to the tapping of scraping action. And for magnetic circuit, the power with the piece like this, the power is there on all the surfaces. And for piece electric, the power is seen only on the lateral surface. And recommendation for using ultrasonic should be always used in low power setting. High power setting means a high speed. What happens is that sometimes even the painting or the instrumentum is thrown away. So it causes hypersensitivity. So we use some low power setting and adequate supply of water is there to reduce heat and even help some flushing. Use quick light back and forth brush strokes. It should be always using brush strokes. Or when you're using like that, you can uh, use it like you are keeping the Mission on and without removing it, like the foot control, you are continuously doing it, the power will be always reduced. And you remove roughness on the tips to prevent scratching on it. The tip is rough, always change the tip, otherwise, the scratching on the tooth surface will be there. And you should always wear, wear protective gloves and face mask into a lot of surface, the air also will be generated. And always, after cleaning, check the tooth surface for many reasons. Finally, I'm doing scaling and both cleaning the water. The result works in 
सर्विस होनी जरूरी है इनिशियली हैंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू सेम ऑप्टेन इन स्मूथ सर्विस यू नॉट अप्लाई प्रेशर इन द टिप बिकॉज़ इट विल डैमेज टू स्मूथ सर्विस एंड द फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग इन द प्रीवियसली इट स्लो पेन रिस्पोंस मोमेंट्स यू नॉट यू सम पेशेंट्स इन कार्डियक फेस में तो और दिन ये तो हेल्प्स नॉट इन लाइफ सपोर्टिंग डिवाइसेस बिकॉज़ कार्डियक फेस में तो इफेक्ट it come from to the frequency is one of the frequency is variation is there, but you know the latest space method that problem is not there the base latest space method come to the big shield so it doesn't affect the ultrasonic frequency variation and the flush line of the hand is at beginning of each day or for two minutes to clear stagnant water from reduced by the hand there will be water pressure in the degree finish a patient the water there may be the so always flush for two minutes So all the water and the biofilms in the tube goes, and fresh water comes from the bottom. So always flush the lining before you do a scaling. And the indication for ultrasonic scaling is mainly for inflating, procedure, procedure scaling, or not simply to remove heavy tissues, calcium and stain, or any markings of the restriction to the upper class to filling it up. by 
two principles. The second table of the two principles. One is cavitation. The other one is acoustic microcell. What do you mean by cavitation? You know, the formation of the cavity, the vibratory motion of the instrument with the continuous stream of water, production of tremendous pressure, and the of the water bubbles, the water bubbles, the water bubbles, the water bubbles, the shock waves, which is called as cavitation. In combination of the vibrating tip against the deposit, causes high frequency sound waves and exploding bubble errors characteristic and the exploding bubble also causes lysis of cell wall and then the bubbles in the bubbles in the bubbles in the bubbles causes breakage or lysis of the cell wall and it also helps in calculus of wall what are the difference between the ultrasonic and hand instruments ultrasonic mainly works based on the vibration acoustic streaming and gravitation and scaling you know the mechanical for the movement of deposits. We use not very tiny deposits and say we use not all amount of deposits. Instrument it is dull and bulky, but and scale instrument it is thin and sharp. Less tactile sensitivity, good tactile sensitivity. You won't be able to have a tactile because your tip is thicker. You won't be able to do a tactile sensitivity that when the calculus is present. And instrument it has good tactile sensitivity. Digital motion is light pressure, which requires hard motion and activation due to firm pressure. And ultrasonic is inaccessible to some areas because of the tip design and hand scaling is of greater accessibility. Less time is required, more time is required, less clean fatigue, more clean fatigue. Water spray process patient is discovered, hand scaling, no water spray. Possibility of damage to tools from heat buildup and no heat buildup. Aerosol is produced, no aerosol contraindicated in patients with pacemakers and contagious diseases, not much contraindication. A smear layer is produced. What do you mean by a smear layer? It is defined as any debris absolutely nature produced by reduction or instrumentation of environment in green or some metal. Anything produced by the reduction or instrumentation of environment in green or some metal. An amorphous microcrystalline layer of the mist, but freshly cut retinal tube surface, which is mainly composed of denatured collagen, hydrocephalate, and other debris. And agents used to move smear layer are mainly used as wood conditioning agents like citric acid, DDTA, or tannic acid. But the functions of smear layer it acts as a good protective layer and as a weak attachment to bending. It serves as bandage on the freshly cut retinal surface and occludes retinal tissues, forming smear plug, which reduces the sensitivity. It acts as a bandage of freshly cut retinal tissues. You do scaling and smear layer is formed. Rough surface will be there on the table. It, and it occludes the retinal tissues, forming a plug, and it helps in reducing the sensitivity. The mood is indicated in both by a modification as in the interfere with formation of new symmetry. The smear layer is the mood is indicated only in root conditioning because it may interfere with new attachment. And other one is oxygen or air powder polish, which is not widely used. It combines water and baking powder. It has a tip in the air to open it. You add baking powder and you connect it to the air on the hand piece. That is sodium bicarbonate. And sprays high. It sprays high pressure water to cast away soft deposit. Baking soda acts as humus to slow the excellent stain. Actually, it puts them to strain surface because of the high pressure of the baking soda. Main indication is to remove stains prior to bonding and before to grinding and remove. Deposit from benches, appliances, etc. But the main disadvantage is that in patient, hypersensitive patients, patients with respiratory infection, patients on medications affecting electrolytes and high amount of electrolytes, patients are in full pitch of because of the wide pressure and spray. So, patients with respiratory infection is very compromised use and patients affecting patients taking medication or affecting electrolyte imbalance. And high aerosols are produced. Damage to the patient and to the and to the locker. The main advantage is that 
Secondly, the laxum of the patients that can be used on implants, polished tooth surfaces, given a clean slate appearance. And the limitation is that it won't remove intrinsic stains, loss of symptoms, and maintained by aggressive action. The restorations <coughs> may be roughened. Only soft deposits are removed. Procedure, only the soft deposits are removed. And other one is a dental endoscope or telescopy system, which is used for gingival diagnosis and treatment of periodontal disease. It's not used, but it's very expensive. It's a 0.9 mm diameter. Reusable fiber optic endoscope, like a normal endoscope, camera set has covered the sterile teeth. It's another specifically designed periodontal explorer with 24 to 46 power magnification and fiber optic illumination. The sheet delivers water for irrigation that flushes to the pocket and keeps the fields clear to do so. Inserted to the periodontal pocket and it attaches to the CCD video camera and flat panel monitor for viewing. This is very expensive to The uses are allows clear visualization. Subgenial and deep pockets and perforation helps operator to detect and in removing subgenial calculus. When the subgenial calculus is present, the purpose is present, the operator will be able to. Detect impossible to achieve levels of good infrared medical analysis. You can pass it and you can see whether you left over any calculus and necrotic symptom or the is left over. But yeah, it is very difficult because it's highly expensive. Next is a Schwartz period reverse set of two double ended highly magnetized instruments designed to retrieve the retrieval of broken instruments from the pocket. Sometimes our periodontal instruments are very thin, and chances of breakage are because of the fatigue, lots of, lots of usage, fatigue, instrument fatigue, chance of fracture of more. So, these short period reverses are used to retrieve instrument. It is a highly magnetic instrument, and there are several two types are there long blade for general use in the pocket and contrarian for use in percussion. So, you don't know where. The instrument is fractured and dead. So, in the case in say, so you need high magnetic, so this magnetic attracts the bro broken portion and helps in retaining the broken instrument. So, sonic and ultrasonic instruments now uh, only piece electric are used, earlier magnetic shifting were used, magnetic shifting because of the uh, disadvantage in using that, it is not used now. The nickel ion or ferrite inserted in the hand piece, the electron operating expansion as well. It has a movement on all sides in piece electric because of the what pursue in the hand piece and it vibrates only at the lateral side, that is vibration on all the surface. And pain brush stroke is used. And use of ultrasonic always check adequate supply of water, it should not be generated. And a protective face mask and wire should be there. And after cleaning on, we will always check for uh, use hand instrument to remove for the preference. And patient with cardiac patient, you should do this with precaution. And always flush the handpiece during before the treatment and during after the uh, treatment because to remove the biofilm in the tubing. Main indication for root cleaning is surprising as a PG irrigation, orthodox removal, removal, removal of stains and calculus, or any margins of the root. Contraindication mainly should not be used on thrombosis, cold clean crown, patient with contagious diseases, discomfiting injuries, and deep first forming pockets, so fatty face major, and even in young children because it damages young fibroblasts. And the principle it works by acoustic microphone streaming and cavitation. Cavitation is the vibratory motion of the instrument, there is continuous stream of water, production, continuous pressure, collapse of water bubble, release of shock waves, versus cavitation. Vibrating tips again, high frequency sound waves and explosive bubble causes calculus removal. That is acoustic streaming. Combination work against the deposit, high frequency sound waves, that is acoustic micro streaming and exploding bubbles that can causes calculus removal. Cavitation causes lysis of cell wall. And this, you know the difference between the head instruments and what's on. Vibration, acoustic streaming, and cavitation, mechanical removal, digitized deposit, and in the tactile sensitivity, digital modes of light pressure inaccessible. 
with less time bucket, less clinical fatigue, what of stress some patients have discomfort. So these are the what is smear layer? What is the advantage of functions of smear layer when, when it should be removed? Like so why root by modification will help in formation of the attachment. And propylene is not used to high pressure body by carbonate with water spray to remove stains, calculus, and to keep, keep the surface clean before bleaching and other things. And dental endoscopy that is very expensive, like normal endoscopy camera that I see deep put deeper into the peroneal pocket. In the short surgery, which is what you use for it's very broken itself. This tool set, long blade, and contraangle blade. Long blade is used for generally used in the pocket, and contraangle would use in the percussion. Continue in the next class with other topics. If you want, we will discuss in detail the phase one therapy we did in earlier the treatment plan. One class we will go on. Phase one therapy. So next class we will be dealing with phase one therapy exclusively for phase one therapy. Okay, thank you.